Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Good morning, gorgeous. I am beautiful. I am blessed. I am living proof. I love who I am today. Audience, yeah, I'm talking to y'all. By a clap of hands, how many of you all feed positive affirmation to yourself? Okay, we have some confident people in here. Now close your eyes and imagine a younger version of yourself. What were you not confident about? Was it your hair? Was it your skin tone? Was it the way you walk, the way you talk? Was it your weight? What was it? Now open up your eyes. What if I told you that the reason why you felt this way is because of advertisement? In the media, on TV, in movies, they were telling you that you wasn't pretty enough, your hair wasn't straight enough, you wasn't skinny enough, you wasn't good enough, you wasn't strong enough. I get it, because I felt that same way too. Did you know that 72% of advertising agencies in the U.S. are white-led. Alarming, right? I told myself, when I grew up, I was going to be a person of change, a person of impact. And now, I have a multi-award winning, multidisciplinary, and multicultural advertising agency. <laughs> Heavy on the multicultural. <laughs> the reason why I created an advertising agency that was multicultural, we have African Americans, Asian, white, Pacific Islanders, so that we can tell our stories authentically and correctly. I got tired of seeing black women in the media, on TV screens, as three different types of characters. One is the mammy. The mammy, you all know, she's the one with the bandana, the one with an apron, she's obese, dark-skinned. An example would be Aunt Your Mama, pancake syrup, y'all know? The second one is Sapphire. She's the ill-mannered, overly aggressive black woman. Now, I'm, I love Martin. Y'all remember the 90s TV show? Love, love, love. That's one of my favorite shows. But when I saw Pam and Shernene, <laughs> I felt like they didn't reflect me. Then there is the Jezebel. She's a hypersexualized woman. Y'all seen her in the movies, music videos, doing a little dance. Shaking a little something. That did not reflect me at all. I told myself that I want little girls around the world with different cultures, different backgrounds, to look in the mirror and see themselves from head to toe beautiful and love themselves just the way they are. Just last year, 
there was a software that just came out called Dremavitis Persona. It is a software that allows script writers to put their script inside of a software and it shows if it's, it indicates if there's racial bias inside of their script. Pretty fascinating. But you know what? I don't need that. I am black, I am a woman, and I know firsthand what it feels to be stereotyped. In conclusion, even though we're creating these multicultural advertising agencies, these amazing softwares that pinpoint racial bias, I want each and every one of you to look in the mirror and stay true to yourself. Be kind to yourself and tell yourself every morning, good morning, gorgeous, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>